Weather Extreme Video, the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 28th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather nice and dry through the weekend. 60s in here by Saturday and Sunday, but potential for a high-impact, severe weather threat by Tuesday of next week. That'll be the focus here, so let's dive in and talk about things. Uh, this is where we stand this morning. Uh, an upper trough passing north of the state, a clipper, if you will. That'll pull down a secondary surge, a drier air tonight. That'll keep highs in the 50s today and tomorrow. Pretty cold to start this day. Cold is 23 at Haleyville. Coleman 26. Birmingham 32. And again, we'll expect mid-50s today and tomorrow. That's about where we should be for late January with a good supply of sunshine both days. Around the nation, temperature is pretty cold, but uh, nothing brutally cold at this point. That really nasty stuff is locked up in Canada for now, but we could see a pretty good flush of cold air down into the continental United States over the latter part of next week following the big storms. The watch warning map, nice and quiet around the nation. Severe weather possibilities today, a marginal risk again for South Florida. But this is the focus. This is the system coming in next week. This is day five, Monday, a risk of severe weather over Louisiana and Arkansas. And on day six, which is Tuesday, a pretty large risk defined uh, from Mississippi and Alabama up through Tennessee and Kentucky. And again, we'll spend some time looking at this in just a bit. Rain for the next five days. Not much through Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts of under a half inch. The bigger rains will come later Tuesday and Tuesday night with that big storm system. So here we go, model fans. The GFS, this is the 06E run, valid today at noon. You see a trough passing by. And again, a reinforcing surge of cooler air drops in here uh, uh, tonight. But today will be mostly sunny with a high in the middle 50s. And pretty much the same thing tomorrow. Bright sunshine. We start today in the 30s. The high will be in the 50s. And that is exactly average for late January. Hey, what a beautiful day Saturday. Now, to start the day, we'll be in the upper 30s, but we'll zoom up into the middle 60s Saturday afternoon. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 65. And Sunday, how about 69? Come on now. That's going to be fantastic. We'll call it partly sunny, maybe a few showers northwest of the state with a weak front. Monday, that initial surface boundary drops in here, and that might kick off a couple of showers, but no big deal. Uh, very mild. Monday will be close to 70. And, of course, we're watching with interest our gathering storm in the western states. Big snows, Flagstaff, Albuquerque, Denver, Salt Lake City. Okay, on to Tuesday, that big bowling ball begins to come out from the southwest out across the Plain States. At midday Tuesday, the surface low near Wichita, Kansas, 996 millibars. A blizzard could be in progress for places like Omaha and Des Moines. In the warm sector, showers and storms begin to break out, uh, maybe just a little west of the state. Thought we'd check the European just for the fun of it. Very consistent. Uh, slight differences at the surface, but the surface low is closer to Kansas City. And again, storms beginning to creep in here Tuesday afternoon. Both models suggesting we might see the action beginning during the peak of the daytime heating process Tuesday. So let's take a look at some of the severe weather parameters. Uh, this is 6 o'clock Tuesday evening coming off the GFS. And again, that's pretty impressive, the uh, instability, the surface-based capes rise to about 1,500 joules per kilogram, and that's pretty impressive for early February. Doesn't take much this time of the year, and that certainly is way more than sufficient. And that, again, the modeling has been very consistent in the idea of a very healthy warm sector in this storm. Uh, this is a look at the 500 millibar uh, upward velocity, vertical velocity here, and those units are very high, strong forcing with this thing, obviously. There's a look at the uh, wind field at 500 millibars, strong jet coming around the base of that thing. This is the low-level jet at 850 millibars, by five, uh, about 5,000 feet off the ground. Uh, those values are in excess of 60 knots over North Alabama. So again, clearly there'll be some chance of strong straight-line winds. And the good old EHI peaking right on top of us Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock, the Energy Helicity Index. And look, this is Thursday, and this event is Tuesday. We don't want to be too specific here, but clearly from the looks of this, all modes of severe weather would be possible. Uh, strong, damaging winds, large hail, maybe a few tornadoes. 
So again, just be aware. We have potential for a, uh, a severe weather threat uh, Tuesday of next week. Uh, this is not some generational thing, once in a hundred year thing. This is just a severe weather threat. But uh, uh, just if you've got some plans, be aware that possibility will be more specific as we get closer. In terms of timing, we just don't even go there right now. There's no skill in that. But for the moment, it looks like it could be late afternoon into Tuesday evening or Tuesday night. Wednesday, squall line is on to the east. We start to turn cooler. Highs drop in the 40s, and this is Thursday, a pretty cold trough digging down through here. This is a week from today, and that's suggesting by Thursday of next week, uh, we might struggle to get out of the 30s over North Alabama with cold air advection coming in behind the storm. This is the end of the forecast period, Saturday the 6th of February. That looks cold and dry with a trough lifting out. We're dry, but again cold. Uh, Arctic oscillation does go negative after those big storms. NAO goes negative, opening up the door for the colder air. And you can see the temperatures. We spike up to near 70 before the storms arrive Tuesday. And then later in the week, we struggle to get out of the 30s by Thursday and Friday. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.